Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Well, this is going to be our big weekend build. Uh, this is a much requested build. We're going to be doing a garbage truck, and not just any garbage truck. I want a, I want a working garbage truck. I want one that picks up dumpsters. I want it to be able to like the back end. I want the whole thing to lift up. I can dump trash. I just, I wanted to function like a real garbage truck. So. Uh, I've got my work kind of cut out for me. Uh, I've been coming up with some designs, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this all. Um, I'm going to—I'm just now starting to talk during this. I figured I'm going to go ahead and just skip over, you know, me designing the truck itself. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know how I do like semi-style trucks. It, nothing much like is changed. Nothing at all, maybe, has changed. Um, I'm using electric motors now. They're just way more powerful, and it's just way easier to do these big metal builds with them. Uh, Suspension-wise, we're using a standard off-road suspension in the front. The back, I'm using that design with the three suspension pieces. I, I really like that, and I feel like this thing's going to be extremely heavy, so I'm going to need that. Um, but other than that, that's going to be really standard. It's really the tank itself that holds the garbage is, is going to be the pain. Uh, I need to create some sort of system back here, which I think I'm going to use an electric motor to lift it up and down, and which that's a really heavy, I mean, it's going to be a really heavy object. So uh, I believe the electric motor can handle that. I'll, I'll rig it up to a button in the front. And uh, I think between that and a system to actually pick up uh, big dumpsters, which I'll, I'll create a dumpster uh, for like specifically for this build because... I want to show you guys, you know, it actually working instead of just, you know, two poles going forward and saying, hey, this is what's supposed to pick up the dumpster. Um, trying to think, um, did I change it? The only thing that I, you know, may need to go over with the truck, a lot of semis can open up, like, they, they can tilt forward, and that's how they get to the motors. Uh, that's how I actually built that. And I, I'll show it to you guys later once we actually start testing it. But the whole, like, the cab itself can actually move all the way forward, and it's it's kind of neat. So, uh, that's probably the only thing that I think I've changed with my diesel design. So, uh, let's see. This this is the challenge here. I, I keep forgetting that when this whole tank is going to, like, depend on one bearing. You can't really make two bearings work together, not unless... Actually, I don't think you can. Just the way the blocks, how you connect everything. Like, if you had a welding tool, this probably wouldn't be as bad. But I need to find a way to, like, well, there's two things. I need to find a way to make this work as far as wrap the whole, t like, the whole tank around and make sure that it doesn't touch any other parts. Um, and secondly, I got to be very, very, very careful. Because if I, sometimes I get and I start trimming weight off some of these designs. And if I delete that one block, it's going to drop, the like, the tank's just going to drop and that's going to be very bad because I'm not going to have a way to put it back on and I'm going to have to rebuild the whole thing. And you wouldn't hear a very happy person. So uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this or you know do this safe. Uh, ooh. I think we'll just build the base first and then we'll, we'll build the walls up after that. I just need to get the bottom down first. Um, I'll probably come up with some sort of stand in the front. Uh, that way when it lays down, it has something to, uh, something to rest on. I, I don't want it resting straight on the uh, frame. So let's see. How big do I need this tank? I'm, I'm using a waste management truck as my like base of what I'm going off of. So it'll probably look similar to that. Uh, we'll probably also paint it like it too. So, yeah, I, I've gonna I'm gonna have to look around and figure out how I want to design this tank. Uh, so yeah. All right. I hope this isn't gonna be too thick, but uh, I have a little cool. Some of these tanks have these ripples in them, so I double the walls up here, and we're gonna make these cuts. Uh, we'll do one cut every other block, or maybe we'll do two blocks. Now that looks good there. Yeah, we're gonna do those blocks. I, I don't know if it really has a purpose. It just, I, I don't want the look of just having just a big plain looking tank on there. I want to give it a little bit of a design. Uh, try to mix it up just a bit. Um, I'll probably leave one part flat because I would like to have like maybe paint the waste as oh crap. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need to be careful what I'm deleting because I'm. Ah. Taking chunks off the tank, and I don't really want to do that because that's gonna be uh, it's gonna make for a long build for me. 
But uh, anyway, so yeah, we're going to probably paint, try to attempt to paint the waste management logo on the uh, side of it here. Uh, if you're watching in America, of course, you know what that is. I, I don't know if they might be a, a around the world. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, so maybe some other people will notice this. Uh, well, let's see. Okay, that still bugs me that that it's really all resting on one bearing. So that's uh, that's a little weird for me. I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna delete that at some point in this build, and you're gonna you're gonna hear me chunk things, and that might actually be something I would keep in the the uh, video because it might be funny. But uh, yeah, let's cut the ripples in this side too. Uh, I'm still hoping that that electric motor is gonna be enough. Uh, I always thought, like, if that electric motor can't lift this whole thing up, um, I also thought about assisting it with controllers, uh, maybe somehow creating some sort of lift under it. Uh, it would be really, really nice to have some sort of piston uh, in the game. Maybe that will be something in the future. But uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get the paint. I'm going to paint as I go here. And I don't know. That doesn't... I think the waste management from the pictures I'm seeing, that's a little darker. I think that's a lot more like it, so let's paint this. Uh, truck's going to be wide, of course. The bumpers look like they're going to... They, they vary from these pictures. I've seen some with like, black bumpers, and I've seen some with silver bumpers. So we're going to go with the black bumpers here. Let's get in here and paint all of this. That looks pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, I'm going to finish the top of the tank up and we'll, uh, put a couple controllers in here and make sure the doors open up and figure out how we're going to lift this thing. So that's going to be very, very fun. Okay. Well, the electric motors didn't work. They just, and I don't understand why they're not working. I've used electric motors to move some crazy things and they just, they're not getting the power they need. Um... So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I can assist it by creating these uh, these little poles. They're going to lift up and push up on that uh, tank. So I think this will start it up, and maybe the electric motor can kind of finish it off. Um, I think I can store the controllers back here. That looks okay. Let's see. Yeah, and that's really strange about that electric motor. Like I've tried several different things. I've mapped it to the. Even, I even mapped it to the uh, steering wheel one point just to make it just just see what was wrong and something either it's a glitch or you know like scrap mechanics not reacting you know, like it's acting kind of funny with and i don't know if it's because the way the body like how it sets on that bearing and that tanks that tank setting on a bearing and it's it's hitting against the body and i don't know if it's like causing some sort of weird like glitch or physics thing with scrap mechanics sometimes you Sometimes when objects interact with each other, it really drives like the game nuts, and yeah, I don't wonder if that's what's going on right now, and that's part of the reason. Like, it's not snagging. That's the thing. I can throw the lift under the tank, and I can push the lift up, and it'll lift the tank. So the tank isn't like snagging somewhere. It isn't stuck. It is free. So uh, I need to really figure this out. Um, where? Okay, I need to connect that there. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo. I'll redo these buttons here at some point. I've I've got it kind of a mess already, and I know this isn't the order that I want these to be in. So let's see. Let's try to jump in here and let's test this. See if this lifts it. Uh, no. Okay, they're going down. Okay, switch those. Uh, it's starting it. You know what? That's progress. Let's maybe put. Two more in the back. We'll have one more set. Uh, let's see if this motor is it kicking it up. Nope. Nope, not working. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's grab another set. I'm gonna use a a couple more poles in the back, and I think it can lift up. I think it'll finish it off here. It should be good though. Uh, where do I want to stick them? Um, yeah, I don't need much back here to be honest with you. The uh, front ones are the ones that need to be long, so. I can have short poles back here, and this should lift it right up, uh, in theory, at least. Let's see. Connect that there. Connect that there. But yeah, like I was saying a while ago, uh, if, uh, like I said, I did. Cut, I am going to wind up cutting out the building of the diesel. If 
I mean, I, that might make some people mad or, you know, some people like to see almost everything. And it's uh, kind of unrealistic for some of these builds to at least keep the uh, the video size at a, a good level. So, uh, like I said, if you want to see me build something like this, I, I do it in plenty of other builds. So, oh yeah, that, that lifts good. Uh, some of these things, uh, I've watched a couple in action. Uh, they don't lift very high because a lot of them have this little, like, I don't know what you want to call it. It's it ha They have this wall built into them, and as they lift it up, they'll lift, like, it lifts up about where it is on mine, maybe a little higher. The back door pops open, and this little wall, they'll click another button, and the wall will push the trash out, you know. Uh, I don't, like, I won't be able to do that wall in there because it's, like, that wall literally just moves from front all the way to the back, so I probably will not have that. If I can think of something to do back there with it, I, I might, uh, let me add a couple pieces of pipe here. This will make it lift just a hair bit, just, just a little bit more. Let's see. Come on. There we go. And I think there's a little bit I can trim off the back. Uh, I think it's hitting some words in the back. And if I can trim off about another block and get it just a little bit higher, we should be about where I need it. Uh, let's just go ahead and paint these while they're up. Just do silver or something. I'm not sure. Uh, man, I, I really hope they bring out a piston block. I really think that would that would help this a lot. This would, That would help quite a few of my builds. Let's see. Oh yeah, you saw it leaning over there. I can yeah, it's snagging. Or actually, no, I'm, it's because I'm on a, I'm on a hill actually. Okay, I've been contemplating how to do this, and this is what I came up with. I'm trying to figure out like the dumpster design it has these arms that lift, and like oh, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, nope. Here we go. All right, I've got them hooked up. All right, let's let's pull up. Come on. Uh, the uh, the the plan for this is there's holes in this and in, in all these big dumpsters, and it just lifts it up over the the vehicle, and it just shakes it out. Uh, it's lifting, but it does not seem to want to lift that dumpster. And you know, maybe because the dumpster is pure metal, uh, let's let's cut a hole in it and see if we can get some weight off and see if that's actually the issue. Let's, I'll just fill it in here. Um. I hope that's the issue. I mean, I've been having a lot of problems here recently uh, with controllers and stuff, and like it's some things aren't acting right. I'm I'm not sure if it's just this world and or w what's going on right now, but uh, it seems like that should have lifted that fairly easy. This is really not that much metal. This isn't a big piece, so let me uh, let me trim off this weight here. Let's see. Go ahead and paint it. There we go. All right. The metal dumpster is not working, so we've got a wooden dumpster. Let's try this. And still nothing. Are you kidding me? Like, why would this not work? This is not a heavy... Like, this thing lifts up just fine. This thing is not heavy. Like, even... I mean, I can switch to electric motor, see if it works that way. I don't know, something's not right about this. Like, everything's like... I'm even stuck in this thing. Uh, I think we're go I think we're getting back to that two objects interacting with each other, and, like, I actually think I'm stuck in this. There we go. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? How do I want to adjust this? Hmm. Let me go ahead and finish this roof off. That's bothering me, but... I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do here. Uh, I can put them on electric motors. Uh, I'm not sure that's necessarily gonna fix the issue. I, I think the issue is that everything's on that one bearing. Uh, I connected the other side doesn't have a bearing where this little pull, uh, whatever you want to call this, is grabber, and that might be it. it. Maybe it just can't get enough power. So we're gonna we're gonna put an electric motor here and see if we can get that lift. Uh, 
if not, I'm going to have to cut this off and maybe we'll have to add bearings to each side and separate. Like, I wanted the thing to hang, like, to go over the roof, but uh, I don't know if that's possible right now. So, I mean, I've got it to where, it, like, it it's over the roof and when it folds back, it actually rests on there. And it looks really cool, but uh, let's see. Oh, wrong button again. Uh, no, I need to go redo this here. Okay. Nothing. I, I can't get it to do anything. It's just not... It's not lifting. And when it does start to lift, it glitches out. And I've watched the pole. Like, it'll either kind of go through the dumpster or... Uh, I don't think it likes this system. So, let's... I'm probably going to wind up cutting these arms off and trying something else. Uh, I haven't seen too many dumpster videos on YouTube. And a couple that I've seen... Uh, or when I say dumpster videos, uh, garbage truck videos. And the couple that I've seen, they, uh, they use just a straight pipe. They'll, uh, the straight pipe will just come over, hook into like a, I think I've seen one person do the dumpster thing and it seemed to lift it, but even it looked like it, they were having a little bit of problems with it. So let's, uh, let's try this and then we'll move to probably the straight pipe. If this doesn't work, which I'm, 99% sure that this isn't going to work. Okay, we have moved to straight pipes. This this is the only thing I can think of doing. That over... Yeah, okay, here we go. We're lifting now. I, I really think the issue was the bearing. It, everything was being powered and all the weight was on that one bearing on the left side. And technically that... Well, of course, the right side didn't have a bearing. So when it was lifting, it wasn't... Wow. Okay, yeah, we're still having issues here. That pole just literally warped through the dumpster. <laughs> okay, yeah, just throw the dumpster down. I don't care. All right, we're going to have to set up again here. Um, but anyways, yeah, this seems to be the way to go because the whole fact that I've got two bearings that I can power instead of trying to push everything onto one side. Uh, it doesn't look as good, though, but... Uh, it's nothing much I can do here. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. This seems to work, though. This has a lot more power, and this seems to be able to actually pick this dumpster up. Now, when the dumpster gets in there, things start getting really freaky, but, uh, yeah. Let's try this again. Okay, let's hook into here. Let's lift. Uh, I've got to redo these buttons, too, because I've got them out of order, obviously. Okay. Mm, let's try this one. Nope. What's that doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to completely uh, remap this, because I'm doing everything but lifting the dumpster here. Uh, let's see. Let's go place this back here. Uh, I don't feel like trying to use the doors. Let's just use the... Let's just hop up here on the side step and just jump in. Okay. All right. This is getting annoying. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go remap these buttons. And I'll be right back. We'll, uh, we'll fix this whole issue. All right, folks. I think we are pretty close to being done here. I went back, I have went ahead and painted some. Uh, it looks okay. It's not really 100%, I would call, the waste management logo, but it looks good. Uh, I've done a little bit of repair work. I, I redid all the buttons. Now the buttons are in an order that I can tell what I'm doing, and it's not quite as messy. Uh, you can see everything where kind of all the bearings are running. Uh, everything's. It's not that complicated, of a design and yet this is taking me way longer than it probably should have this probably should have been maybe an hour and a half build maybe two yet here we are three hours later and I still feel like I'm gonna be not quite 100% satisfied with how this is gonna work uh, let me show you a couple of things this is cool uh, this is the uh, where you can access the uh, motors and stuff uh, I thought that was neat. A lot of diesels do that, so that's cool. Here's the uh, hatch that this would be the hatch that you open up to dump the trash in if you're you you know dumping a dumpster. 
uh, I almost did the some of the garbage trucks have that design where they have the claw that comes out the side and you can like pick up little cans and I almost did that but with the way the dumpster thing's going I don't know if that would have been really much of an option uh, there's it lifting up um, so you can see what am I seem like we're snagged up here no everything seems fine yeah but I, I put all the controllers on the back here it actually looks pretty good um you can see everything lifted up here. Let's get jump back in. Uh, just making sure everything's clearing. Uh, let's see. Go through the cycles. There's that. Something. Why is that back door not opening? Oh, man. This has been a rough build. Uh, yeah. Uh, I do apologize if I'm running into some issues here. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, I... I was putting these slanted blocks on there earlier. Uh, I must have put too many. I must have closed the uh, where the lid was supposed to open back here. So let's, uh, I think it's, let's try to delete around the edge here. Figure out which, where it's snagged. There it is. Okay, that, that was my bad. But anyways, this is where the thing opens and it would, of course, I don't have a, uh, I didn't want to add blocks and make them completely flat back there. I've already got enough weight. Uh, I talked about that wall earlier. That would have been nice if I could have added that, but I couldn't figure out a way to make that push everything back. So uh, the only way you would have seen it if you were in the back and had the door open and watched it actually push it out. But uh, yeah, everything's pretty good here. We're actually going to drive this thing around a bit before we. Uh... That's really cool. Like now that that whole the the cab setting on a bearing, so it actually kind of flexes and moves like a diesel. Like when you see a diesel turn, you always see the cab shake and and really move around and you're actually getting that well because this thing's on a bearing now it's not actually attached to the frame so you can see it like bounce around this is actually it's pretty cool uh and i somehow got away with uh making it like somehow i can turn this thing unlike a lot of times when i uh do a lot of these bigger builds i use this off-road wheel i have to make the wheel well like really huge it's going to give this a little more power but uh i always have to make it really huge and I didn't have to do that with this one for some reason. Uh, I don't know. I got to really look back and like, I didn't seem like I changed anything. I think it's just because it's taller. But um, yeah, it works well. It clears. It doesn't snag. I don't know. It's not like popping up really high when I turn it. Uh, seems to have pretty decent power. Uh, I wouldn't want to picture this with electric. I mean, uh, the regular motors because I'm not sure it would be getting up these hills. Uh, ouch. Okay. But yeah. I just want to show you guys and make sure, you know, sometimes when I do a build, like something that actually has function and, like, I don't actually drive it around. I just want to show you guys, like, yes, this does actually work as far as it, it drives around, it handles, and, oh, crap, I've gone to the back of it. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Let's, uh, I'm going to have to cut my way out, so this might take a moment. All right, folks, let's try this again. Um... This is the only thing that's really bugging me about the build. I'm really happy with the way this came out. It looks good, but I really want to be able to use this. Like, And it's on a controller now. And the plan is when the actual... Um, I think I screwed something. I think I made that hole too small. But yeah, when the actual dumpster gets over the truck, you're supposed to kind of hit the controller button a couple more times and shake it out. And then you will just drop it back down. But uh, I seem to be having issues here. Like when these, like watch what kind of happens. See if it happens this time. Like, okay, that works somewhat. Uh, I wasn't quick enough about shaking it and throwing it back down. I might need to slow the uh, controller down a bit. But watch what happens with the, uh, you'll eventually get these things to warp. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently he wasn't happy. We weren't. We weren't happy with the dumpster here. Let's uh, let's turn back around. We'll have to set this back up. But I, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, something's not quite right. Like the way it interacts with the the object on object thing. Because I've watched like those arms warp through the dumpster, or they'll actually get stuck in the dumpster. Uh, so let me uh, let's line this back up, and we'll we'll try it again, and see if I can get this to work. All right, folks, 
this has gone all wrong. This has already crashed my. This has actually crashed my game. I, I hopefully I can salvage the you know as much footage as possible. I hate when that happens because sometimes it cuts. I lose footage because of it. But this thing, like these arms, just warp all through, and it's just not working the way like. If it didn't work, if it didn't warp through, it would actually work. There should be no problem with this, and it does work sometimes. But other times, it's like the arms decide just to go right through the wood, and it freaks the game out, and the frames will drop, and it'll just kill it and crash. So, uh, I, I better stop here because I don't want to lose something or corrupt the world. But I'm I'm happy with the way this one came out. It, it looks good. Uh, I've got most of the function that I wanted into it, so I'm happy. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We've got a scrap mechanic fail slash prototype video that I'm going to release tomorrow. It's got some really interesting things that I, I worked on and that didn't quite make the cut and things that are possibly planned for the future. But anyways, uh, if you'd like to like the video, subscribe, anything and everything helps. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.